So I'm currently studying electrical engineering, and then I started out in mechanical engineering. But between that transition, I switched my major a few times, one time to aerospace engineering and one time to biomedical engineering. And actually the engineering major I was interested in the most at the time was biomedical engineering. And that's because I was very interested in the human body. I was interested in medicine. And I think at the time I also shadowed like 10 doctors and I was interested in applying for medical school. And thought biomedical engineering is probably a good way to do that. But then when I actually switched to the major and took the classes and thought about it very deeply, I realized it was not a good idea to major in biomedical engineering. And there's basically three reasons why I think it's not a good idea to major in biomedical engineering, unless you're absolutely certain it's the thing, the one thing you're like super passionate about, or unless you want to use it as a gateway to get into medical school. And the first reason is that biomedical engineering is kind of like a jack of all trades degree. Like you don't really get really concrete at one skill. For example, in electrical engineering, you can get really good at electronics or electronic design and or for example, or energy systems. In mechanical engineering, you can get really good at designing and building mechanical structures. You can learn about things like manufacturing, materials. But in biomedical engineering, at least at the major where I was in my school, uh, you would basically take like a little bit of electrical classes, a little bit of mechanical classes, a little bit of chemical classes, and then a little bit of biology as well. And even though there were like tracks, like you could take like an electrical track where you'd like take a few extra electrical courses or a few extra mechanical courses or a few extra chemical courses, uh, you were still not getting like super strong at any of these skills and you're still kind of like jumping around and this is actually a nice segue into the second reason why I think it's probably not the best idea to study biomedical engineering, and that is uh, it's harder to find a job with a bachelor's degree as a biomedical engineer than it is for a mechanical or an electrical engineer, especially if it's a biomedical engineering job. Now, here's the paradox is you think, okay, I'm studying biomedical engineering, I should apply for a biomedical engineering job and get it, right? But the problem is biomedical engineering is really just like an umbrella term. It's not really a real term. Like biomedical engineers can do very different things but they still, at the end of the day, have to do something either electrical, mechanical, or chemical. For example, if you work on designing like pacemakers for the heart or like sensors for the body, uh, those are electrical engineering devices you're dealing with. Those are electronics you have to design, those are antennas you have to design. And if I was an employer, I would much rather pick an electrical engineer than a biomedical engineer to design a circuit for me or to design an antenna, mainly because that person has a much stronger background in electronics or electromagnetic physics. And likewise, if I was, for example, a company that's building prosthetics or like mechanical structures for the human body, I'd much rather hire a mechanical engineer who really knows what they're doing in terms of designing mechanical structures and analyzing them using CAD and things of that nature than a biomedical engineer who may not be as good at these skills. And of course, this is not always the case, but you could check this for yourself. You can go on Indeed and you can type jobs like relating to like, I don't know, body sensors or like prosthetics or anything related to like your human body, which are typically biomedical engineering projects, you'll see that they're usually actually looking for electrical engineers or mechanical engineers. And yes, they, they will also look for biomedical engineers, obviously, but they're at the end of the day interested in your skills and what you can do. And if you're somebody who can design circuits and antennas, it's much easier for you to learn the biology or the the human body application rather than it is for somebody who knows the human body application but is not so strong at these skills. So I'm not saying you're not going to get a job, I'm saying that with a mechanical or electrical engineering degree you're probably a lot more likely to get a job in those fields assuming you know what specific branch you want to work on. Third reason I would not major in biomedical engineering unless again it's absolutely what you want and it's absolutely the thing you're passionate about is that with biomedical engineering you're kind of already restricting yourself to a certain application or a certain field and I don't think you should do that because in college you're still very young and you still don't really know what you want and what you like. And you may think you like something, but later down the line, you may actually change your mind. And it's much better to go with something that's a bit broader and more generalized, such that you can build a foundation skill, again, like electrical or mechanical. And then you could always go work on the human body, or you could always go work on airplanes. You could always go work in satellites. You could always go work in cell phones, rather than restrict yourself to medical applications, just to realize two, three years down the line, you actually don't like medicine and you don't like the human body or you change your mind about it. And even though it, it won't be hard necessarily to get a job outside of that field, you would still have like a biomedical medical slap on your resume where a lot of employers will think, okay, this guy is good at biomedical things, uh, but if like you're working, like if they're looking for someone to work on like auto applications or satellites or airplanes, uh, then you're kind of restricting yourself. And this is why I've made this disclaimer like five times in this video. If it's absolutely what you like and it's absolutely what you really, really want to do, 
go for it. But if you're like most students, which you're uncertain and you're like, okay, this sounds like a cool major, let me give it a shot. I would say, yes, maybe take the classes, talk to the professors and whatnot. But I would also say, be careful and try to really figure out what you want to do because if you're really not sure what you want to do in engineering, I think it's much safer to go with a broader degree such as mechanical or electrical. And you could always take more electives such as biomedical. Now keep in mind, this is what I think, this is what works for me. Um, I am a PhD student in electrical engineering. I've done like seven internships, I've published research papers. So I do know what I'm talking about, but it's still one person, some random guy on the internet. So obviously do your own research and figure out what works for you. And if you have any questions, you could always leave them in the comments. I switched out of biomedical engineering to uh, electrical engineering. And in my head, I'm like, okay, I could always go work on body sensors or or, or pacemakers or whatever, like brain machine interfaces, even though these are biomedical things that requires very good electrical engineering knowledge. Um, and I don't regret that at all. I think that was a really good decision because uh, electrical engineering degree, um, I have freedom to just work on whatever I want because electromagnetic physics isn't like everything. And I actually liked electrical engineering so much that I went as far as doing a freaking PhD in electrical engineering. And I made a video about that, so you can go ahead and check it out.